Want to see me do a magic trick? Boom! Made it appear as easily as a swan laying an egg. Well, hello there, fellow mammals. The name's Theodore. Theodore Tusk. And today I'm unboxing this deck building Marvel board game called Legendary. Now, before you start putting together your dream team, wait till the very end to find out how you can win a free three month subscription to Loot Crate. Iron Man would want you to. Isn't that right, Tony? I know you're in there. A whole army of you, actually. First in the box, we have the board where most of the action takes place. So let's talk about how it functions as we go through all the cards. Starting with the four misunderstood Marvel masterminds. Each game you get to fight against one of the masterminds. So let's say you get Uncle Magneto. See that number in the lower right hand corner? That's basically his HP. To win the game, you need to do damage equal to that or higher, a total of four times. So, how do you do that? By building an army of superheroes, of course. There are always five heroes out at a time and ready for purchase. Shield agents too. To bribe them to be on your team, play cards that have recruit points, which are represented by the star you see here. The cost for each hero is here at the bottom. Holy <coughs> Tony Stark. Why do you cost so much? Purchases are then immediately discarded and drawn into your hand another turn. When you're ready to attack, play the cards and add together their total attack power. Now you draw your heroes from the hero deck and above that, villains from the villain deck. Each turn a villain is added to the city. If all five spaces are filled and a sixth is added, a villain escapes and bad stuff happens. So be sure to kick their butts. Leave them a nice big bruise. Also, you can sometimes draw master strikes, which lets the mastermind do bad things, or scheme twists, which also do bad things. Each game starts with a random scheme, and once the evil wins prerequisite is met, you lose the game and everybody dies. The end. The only other things I missed are each player starts with a default deck to draw cards from to make their purchases or fight villains. We also have wound and bystander cards up here. When you get a wound, it goes into your deck and since they're useless, drawing one just wastes a spot in your hand. Bystanders you want to save whenever a villain tries to run off with them. You need them for extra points. You also get points for killing villains. And the player with the most points at the end of the game is the true champion. So overall, build the best deck you can, take out villains for points, and beat the mastermind four times or accept a shameful defeat. What, did you think Uncle Magneto was going to keep quiet about it? Heck no! He's gonna let all your friends on Facebook know. Well, thanks for watching, fellow mammals! For a chance at winning this week's free three-month subscription to Loot Crate, who is your favorite Marvel villain and why? Or how about your favorite deck-building game? Mwah. Oh, it's for Ma Uncle Magneto. Oh, Uncle Magneto. Today, I'm finishing up my Let's Play of Resident Evil 7. No, oh, just slowly. Slowly, oh, it's too fast. Oh, no, 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 you don't. Oh, no, you don't. I'm 